you ever just get that feeling where while you're editing something is missing maybe I'm not enough or what I know is not enough or this is just a classic burnout well to be honest there's always one solution to this it's simply taking a quick reset grabbing a simple you know cup of coffee while you're actually doing the coffee thing it simply takes your mind away from the edit you know starting all over again pouring out all your ideas into one thing well sometimes it's just a waste at the end of the day sometimes you just need to cool off and of course i actually just needed a voiceover for a super short film you know because i'm showing my secret ingredient to making coffee just like the making of this short film using the answer pro what's up martians today i want to talk about a specific plugin for premiere pro when it comes to filmmaking. It's actually called Dehancer Pro. So it's basically a Premiere Pro plugin where it basically allows you to turn your videos into film emulation or emulate your videos into film. It's like one of those secret ingredients to making your film more cinematic. You know what's funny is, it's not just the bars, it's actually the grain. What, what, what I meant about the bars, it's not about that two by one aspect ratio. It's also about the green. What's funny is I bought an A7S III to actually, you know, stay away from the noise, but now I'm looking for that green. So about a month ago, Dehancer sent me an email to actually make a review about their plugin, and I said yes. So by the way, Dehancer Pro didn't pay me to say anything because they want it to be all natural and they want this review to be transparent as much as possible so basically i want to talk about four things that i actually love about the hanser pro and maybe at the end of this video i'm gonna share with you guys what's my only gripe with their plugin and by the way this plugin is also available for the vinci resolve users and final cut pro users and this is not a super technical review first thing that i actually love is the film grain it's actually what i've been looking for for quite some time not until i found this youtube channel and his name is danny giverts i don't know if i said that right but from danny i found out about the hanser pro and i've been wanting to test it out since the day i found out that it actually exists so i went to their website i downloaded their free trial they actually have a free trial one to which when you use it there would be no watermark and then you have to buy it you know after a couple of days and i'm actually honestly impressed because the film grain to me is everything i know there's a lot of things that you have to explore with dehancer pro but actually knowing about what it can do it's really really just amazing and that's the first thing that I love which is the film grain one to which you are seeing right now film grain so the second thing that I actually love about the Hanser Pro besides wearing a hoodie in front of the Sun is actually their halation effect you see there's there's these effects that you can use when you're emulating film in the Hanser Pro besides grain you also have a halation effect so what halation does is actually it turns those lights you see at night it, it's mostly effective at night it makes them a little bit softer not too much contrast not too much highlight but it actually makes it a little bit softer it kind of works like a promist filter as far as i understand but correct me if i'm wrong but yeah it's really helpful the third thing that i like about the hanser pro is the film emulation it has an option where you can actually put in a stock film look to your footage. The Hanser Pro is most likely a collection of 63 film stock emulations as you can see right now. To be honest, I'm not really good at color grading but with the Hanser Pro, I already know the basic tools and this plugin adds more value to a project I'm currently doing. So the fourth feature that I actually like about the Hanser Pro is basically the Rec 709 conversion. This is my favorite tool to be honest because I'm not really you know super great at color grading because with the Hanser Pro with the single click of a button you can open up Premiere Pro, drag your footage to the timeline, put an adjustment layer on top of it, go to effects, type in the Hanser. But wait, you can actually do this right now and download their free trial. You can also buy it if you want and you can use the promo code in my description box to actually get 10% 
20% off. So after putting the adjustment layer, type in Dehancer Pro, drag Dehancer Pro into the adjustment layer, then go to effect controls. You can go under film and select camera and then you can select your Rec. 709 conversion to a vast array of conversions. It depends on the camera that you're currently using. I'm using the Sony A7S III, so I would be choosing S-Log3, S-Gamma3, Cine. So lastly, my only grip with the Hanser Pro is that it's a little heavy on the rendering side. Maybe because I'm using a MacBook Pro 14 inch, that's like a base model. But overall, once you get the result, it's actually good. And you get that super film emulation that you've always wanted. So do I recommend Dehancer Pro for filmmakers? It's actually, honestly, honestly, it's a no-brainer simply because there's a one-time purchase for their plugin and they continuously update. Right about now, there's actually new features that I haven't tested out. And of course, I'm excited to test these out. And I hope you actually like this super quick review. Those are the things that I actually love about Dehancer Pro. And lastly, once again, thank you for the team at Dehancer Pro for actually trusting me to make a review about your plugin. Honestly, I loved it, I enjoyed it, and I can't wait for more updates. I hope you enjoyed this video. Peace out.